Hi everybody, how are you? So in this video we are going to work on translations. So we are going to need translation in this example for this both buttons. We are going to have a edit button and a delete button. So how we can do translations here? We have already installed the internationalization library for Vue.js. So what we need to do is to add this binding and call it add this t function and pass to them just like a key that we we want to call that will be our key to get the translation so i want to i i like to organize the things this way because by example we are in the index page and here we are going to have an edit text so because why I does I do not put just edit because it always depends on the context because sometimes we need to get a translation for edit but it's a little different from another edit so this, we, this way we can keep the things in context so let me copy this block and paste here and replace by delete let me check if everything is working how you can see it is, we don't have translations for these texts so we need to add the translations to add the translations we need to come here in the internalization folder in the English folder and here we have the keys how you can see we have a failed and a success key so let's add another that will be my index key so here I wanna put everything that is inside my index page so let's put an edit and let's put an edit text and I also have a delete that puts a delete text okay so now if I save even if I come back here let check if it's working. It is working. How you can see, if I want to change this for, for example, borrar del español, del Spanish, it works. But we are going in the, I think in the, in more near to the end of the course, we are going to add more language. But now we are preparing our application to work with translations. So I think it is enough for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment. Bye bye.